Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Tonight is all about redemption. I have waited one year to shoot this target. I shot this target last year for my Astro anniversary and guess what tonight is? Tonight is also my Astro anniversary. Now, I wasn't satisfied with how I framed my target up and my target last year was WR-134. For those of you that are not familiar with WR-134, let me read you a blurb here. WR-134 is a variable wolf rayet star located around 6,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Cygnus, surrounded by a faint bubble nebula blown by the intense radiation and fast wind from the star. So this promises to be an epic target to shoot. Now, I wanna shoot it at a wider field of view so I can get more of the nebula in there. I also wanna see if I can expose more of the O3 bubble, but the thing is it's super faint. Usually this target requires more than 10 hours of exposure to get, and I only actually got eight hours last year across two nights and nights that had really bright moons in them. Tonight though, I have only four hours. And I know what you're saying, WR-134, in four hours? Yeah. <laughs> Number one, I don't have a choice because it's gonna be cloudy for quite some time after tonight. Tonight is my only clear night. The thing is, is I don't have to go to work tomorrow, so I can stay up pretty late. But unfortunately, my imaging time is only gonna be four hours because we're heading into shorter nights. Now, to help me out here, I am going to use my Ascar 103 and my 0.6x times reducer. This is gonna reduce my focal length down from 700 millimeters down to 420. And it's also gonna bump my imaging speed up about twice what I shot at last year. So I'll be getting the same amount of signal because I got eight hours last year and four hours tonight with this reducer, I should end up with about the same amount of signal that I had. And I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how similar the photos are and how much more of the nebula I'm going to expose because of it. Now I'm gonna use the same camera, which is the 294mm Pro. But the neat thing is I get to use it in 47 megapixel mode. I shot it at 11 megapixel mode last year because I shot it with my C6 at 945 millimeters. So the sampling, I had to shoot it at a bin two, which was 11 megapixels. So not only am I gonna get more resolution, I'm gonna get more of the nebula, I'm gonna get about the same exposure time, this photo should be a lot better than it was last year. But the thing is, is I wanna make sure I have all the pieces to my Ascar 103 tonight. I don't wanna mess anything up because I only have four hours tonight and who knows when I'm gonna get another clear night. So let's assemble our 103, convert it to F4 and get out there. Let's get it.
Man, it is beautiful out here, guys. Look at that sunset. Oh my God. All right, guys, we are down here. I just set my scope up F4 monochrome and check that out. There is our 91 percenter tonight. Hopefully it doesn't interfere too much, but this is like the only night I'm going to get to try and bag some nebula. And I can't believe this. This is like my first nebula of the entire year. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for a while, so. Wish me luck, guys. Yeah. Wow, guys. It has only been a few weeks, and I feel like I'm looking at a different sky right now. I got Opiuchus over here because I see Scorpius right here, which means the Milky Way core is kind of stretching out this way. We're almost into nebula season, I can't believe it. Sure is beautiful out here. So far, so good. I got two hours in HA on WR134, and I'm starting in on my 03. I'm going to try and get two hours on that. It is 1 o'clock in the morning right now. So glad I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I'm just going to stay out here all night and try and get as much data as possible. Oh, yeah. I actually fell asleep. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to try and stay awake, though. I'm going to try and stay awake. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for hanging out with me on my anniversary. And I have some results for you that I'm actually really excited about. I'm, I was really surprised, actually, with what I got. And I got closer to two and a half hours in HA and O3. So let's look at that O3 really quick. And here's my O3 data. That's actually pretty good, right? For two and a half hours, but check this out. Here's something I didn't get last year. Actually got the entire O3 shell here. It's faint. It is so faint, but look at this. We see the entire O3 shell. Oh my gosh. If I keep getting exposure time on this in the O3 channel, in mono monochrome, it's gonna look amazing and already i can tell that i got way more signal and more resolution than i did last year 
And F4 is amazing, right? I mean, I nearly have about the same exposure time just because of the focal reducer, but because I have a wider field of view, I'm just gathering more light. So let's take a look at the HA. All right, here's my HA, and I know, right? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This is epic, okay? And the cool thing is when I look at the HA and I see it from this point of view, what I love about it is it looks like ocean waves moving, you know, up towards the corner, especially the way I framed it, right? And we see the structure of the nebula itself. And these lines here, I, I got these lines last year in my photo. I didn't really know what they were. I thought it was something wrong with my sensor, but looking at it, you know, from this wide point of view, it just looks like waves crashing and dipping down and then cresting and then moving away. And it looks like it's just moving over WR134. Uh, so from this perspective, it's really beautiful, especially in monochrome. And the signal is really, really pure. Uh, here in the low signal areas, we can still see some structure here behind here. So the more data I get, I'm sure the more I'll be able to expose this darker region of the nebula. I'm guessing that this is dark nebula, right, that I'm trying to get here. But it's kind of that wispy darkness. I don't know how else to describe it, but it just has a certain quality to it. It's definitely not space. And then here I got a lot of detail in this area up here. And what I like about it, too, is... It looks like the dark nebula in this area is just lightly over the hydrogen areas here, and it's really delicate. But I just dig how sharp that this little crevice or whatever it is turned out, right? And if we come in closer, because I was able to shoot at 47 megapixels this year. You know, that structure, I, I can tell it's carved out into this big cloud of gas. It looks really cool. And then over here, we see this nice trail of nebula. And it just kind of fades into this kind of bowl area. and highlights this little section here so i've got a lot of details in this photograph especially in the ha that i'm really really excited about i can't wait to add more exposure time to this but combined and then i merge the stars back in because i made all this star list wanted to make sure i was able to extract all the information I could before I merged it together. Here is the starred version. This is really beautiful, guys. And merged together, playing with the tones on here, I got this kind of rose gold look to it. Unfortunately, when it was merged together, I lost some of the detail in WR134 or actually the surrounding O3 around WR-134. But it's there, right? I just need more exposure time. And look at just all the little details that we just talked about in color. This is an amazing photograph, and I think I accomplished my goal this year, was to frame it up in a way where I'm just going to be able to just commit and just get a whole bunch of exposure time because I want the O3 shell in color against all this hydrogen. I know it's going to be tough, but 
I'm still going to uh, go for it. And it's even harder for me because I don't have a lot of time at night after work. And now it's summer. And I even have less time because I have to wake up so early in the morning. But I'm just going to keep exposing it, getting a few hours here, a few hours there, and we will revisit this target. All right, guys. Well, again, thank you for joining me on this Astro Anniversary. And I guess there's only one thing left to do. Enjoy my photo of the WR-134. All right, guys, well, I guess that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next. Peace.